Okay, I'll just show you how to delete a mobile from the Bluetooth audio system in this 2017 uh, Ford Mondeo. Um, you see here, that's the home screen, which you, you can click by just clicking the home button on the steering wheel. And then you've got settings over here. So if we click settings, it brings up these boxes here and we're looking for Bluetooth. So click Bluetooth and you've got add Bluetooth device and view devices. Oh, also, if you're having trouble pairing, make sure that that is switched, Bluetooth is switched on. So we'll just switch that back on and click on view devices. It's showing my phone there. What we need to do is click on that and then it's giving you the option to connect the phone, connect as media or delete. We want to delete it. Delete by his iPhone, yes. That's it, that's it, that's it gone. Okay, I'll just show you how to pair a mobile to the Bluetooth audio system in this 2017 Ford Mondeo. Uh, first of all, we make sure that Bluetooth is on like so. So Bluetooth's on, then we're watching out at the bottom. Over to the system, you've got phone here along the bottom. We click on phone, click pair Search phone. Search your vehicle on your device and select it once it is found. Begin the pairing process from your device and a pin option will appear. Ford Mondeo can search for available Bluetooth devices to pair a Bluetooth device. So let me just bring that back up and then click continue. So it's looking for phones in the car to pair. Select one of the devices found by sync. So it's found my phone there, so we'll click there. Confirm that the pin displayed on sync matches the pin displayed on your device. That's 084048, so yes, click pair. And over here, click yes. Allow contacts and favourites to sync. Allow. For your safety, please stay alert to changing road conditions and use sync's voice activated features while your vehicle is in motion. Automatic contact. Uh, well, I don't want to do that, so we'll just finish that, but you would. Sync does not have access to text messaging from my phone. Well, again, I'm, I'm not, I won't be using the car again. So that's it. Anyway, it's, uh, it's connected, and there you go, connected at the top. Okay, I'll just show you how to stream audio from your mobile through the Bluetooth audio system in the uh, Ford Mondeo 2017 model. So if you go over to your music, click on music, you'll see the volume's turned down, but at the bottom, Ford Mondeo, click on there, that gives you your options, your iPhone or Ford Mondeo. Ford Mondeo's is a tick. So we'll go back to, go back to the record over to the system then you've got audio click on audio at the top you've got sources click on sources and you want Bluetooth at the moment it's on FM you can you could well be on DAB or CD but you want just turn that to actually turn that down a, a little bit I thought that was all the way down but if I turn it up and then up here there you go it's a it's a really good system. Um, that's how you do that. Okay, I'll just show you how to use the CarPlay. So, um, phone, the bottom, your charging lead or a USB cable, plug into your phone like so. And there you go, CarPlay's come up. Now, from CarPlay, you, you can do pretty much everything. Um, you've got all, all the systems on your phone here. You make calls, you've got your music. Oops, go back there. Audio books, Spotify, Audible. Click on Audible there. That's uh, any, any other audio books you've got. Google Maps. Uh, best thing is, of course, the actual the the system, the the sat nav system on a on an iPhone. Uh, here we go. Your destinations. Click home. Tells you just click, go straight away. You're 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 off, and uh, you can use it. Voice activation to to navigate anyway. Hey Siri, navigate to Grosvenor Garage. Getting directions to Grosvenor Garage. That's it. 
click go. Starting route to Grosvenor Garage. When you when you think normally. Proceed to Chorley Road, then turn right. We're actually sat on the forecourt, so I've confused it a little bit. But when you think of the other systems, you know, like the BMW iDrive, which was great at the time, or the touchscreen in PR5 or Jolly Road and, you know, number two. You just tell your phone, it does it. It's just it's just so easy, you can do it on the move. Um, fantastic system. Thanks for watching.